So what up you guys? Hope you guys are doing swell. Hope you guys are truly achieving your dreams and goals and doing whatever it takes to make them happen. Um, with all that being said, let's get right to the video. Um, basically, it's been a crazy hectic past couple of like two, three weeks. We've just been going non-stop. Some days we're literally picking up so many and selling so many. It's just literally like clockwork. Stuff comes in, stuff goes out. It's been hectic, crazy, and I cannot tell you. Uh, this is literally a full-time job. I literally cannot go back to work for somebody else right now, knowing the amount of income I brought in finally after all this. Um, it's very up and down sometimes. Sometimes we're so busy we can't breathe, and other days it's just very slow. Um, usually the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays are always our slowest times of the week. But usually at the end of the week, between Thursday and Sunday, are our busiest. I guess people are getting paid or they just want to start looking for couches for the weekend or something. I don't know what it is, but for the most part, what I've seen is that the end of the week works the best for us. It's our busiest week for sure. The weekend are our busiest by far. Obviously, everybody's off work. People are buying and selling stuff a lot. So that's when the market explodes for some reason. Um, we've had to pick up a lot out of town as well. You've had to basically just go all around <laughs> all around where we live and mostly a lot out of town because some of the places where we live and the place where we live is just slowed down a little bit so we tend to find a lot of them out of town so i hope you guys are interested into that i'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of more what i'm doing as this video continues and towards the end of the video i'll show you guys a lot of the profits that we made and expenses and overall what we pay for each couch and from there let the video continue and we'll talk a little more as it goes That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you wash a couch. Thoroughly, cleanly, that couch was completely full of dog hair. It was super dirty, needed a lot of work, but I think once it dries up, gonna shampoo it a little bit more and it'll be ready to go, brand new. Got that one completely for free. Somebody just gave it away, they wanted to get another set, so they really didn't want it. They had a dog, had a lot of hair, but pressure washing it in a car wash really made a difference. It's all worth it, and looking forward to it. Uh, getting completely cleaned up and getting out the door. So, stay tuned for more.
Alrighty guys, just finished cleaning another set right now. We just got that one right here behind me that you guys see right here. Got it all cleaned up, got it vacuumed, got it shampooed, got it washed, and it's just about ready to go. I'm about to post it here live right now and get it sold as soon as possible. So that's how you kind of succeed in this kind of business. You get in stuff as fast as you can, get them cleaned up, get them fixed, whatever you got to do to them, and get them out door as soon as possible. That's how you make the most profit, that's how you're most efficient at this, and that's how you can make something like this work in your favor. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. Feeling good today? Yeah. <laughs> My back hurts a little bit. Uh, doing this kind of wears you out a little bit. Yeah. Physically, very much. So. What is up, you guys? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm actually standing here in uh, my storage unit. It's right behind me. All this uh, furniture that I got right behind me is a lot that we've gotten in. Uh, newer stuff that we've gotten in. Um, I've been asked a lot in the past few videos um, what it is that we invest in a lot of our furniture and what our profits are. And in this video, I'm going to go more into depth on what it is that we spent on a lot of our furniture and what our profits were. So let's get to it. So our very first couch that we sold was uh, this white section right here that you guys see here. We ended up paying uh, basically 120 for it. Just needed your basic standard cleaning. 
um, shampooing, washing the covers. We paid 120 for that one, and we sold that one for an even 400. So that was a profit of 280 dollars. If you guys do the math, so it's pretty well for the for one of them. Um, our next one was a couch in Ottoman, which I got for free. A lady uh, didn't want it. She's just pretty dirty. She had pets, so that one was pretty gunked up. Needed a car wash, basically. Again, as you guys saw in the video, this one right here. Um, you guys saw in the previous video that, uh, that I was basically in this video that I was basically shampooing it and washing it and vacuuming it and all that. That one needed quite a bit of work. I ended up selling that one for eighty dollars, so paid nothing. Eighty dollars, so eighty dollars profit on that one, uh, minus you know a couple of dollars here for the wash, obviously. Next one was the recliner set, which you guys saw in the previous video, the one we were fixing quite a bit. It was completely broken, it was completely torn up. It was super dirty, needed absolutely everything you could think on for a couch. Shampooed, washed, car washed, fixing, repair. We paid $50 for that one, and that one we ended up selling for $400. We delivered that one, so that was a profit for of uh, $350 on that one. It was a lot of work, but that was one that was so far the most profitable for us so far. The next one was this one right here, brown sectional. That one was, uh, I paid 70 for that one, and I sold that one for $340. So do the math, that is $270 profit on that one. And last but not least, our last set was the couch and love seat set. This one right here. Um, we purchased that one for eighty dollars, and uh, that one needed a, a pretty good cleaning as well. It was pretty dirty, pretty gunked up as well. The covers obviously dirty, needed the vacuuming, standard issue stuff. Pay eighty for that one, sold that one for three sixty, so a profit of two hundred and eighty dollars for that one. So our total investment for these past couple of days for all those five catches is three hundred and twenty dollars. We ended up selling everything for a total of one thousand five hundred and eighty dollars with our total profit being $1,260 for five sets. So you do the math. If you can do that on a weekly basis, you'd be making well over $4,000 a month. And for a lot of people, that would do a lot to help you guys. Even $1,000 a month extra, can you imagine how much more you could do by just having an extra $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month. You don't, you don't gotta do it to this level just yet, starting out. You can always, you know, start out small, making, you know, $100, $200 a week to sell one set or two sets. Actually, with one set, you could easily make almost $300 in profit. We've done it multiple times. One day, we can make $300 pretty easily. Not too difficult, with minimal work, and your average person would take two to three days to make that work in full time, eight hours a day. So when you do the math, the profits for the amount of work that you do, yeah, it work a lot, but not as much, not as long. And it's on us to do it, obviously. The more we bring in, the more we put out, obviously, the more profits. So understand that for sure. The more you stuff you bring in, the more furniture you bring in, the more you sell, the more profits you're gonna get. That's kind of the ups and downs of this kind of business. But that has been our profit of $1,260 for the past five days for five sets. $320 invested, sold everything for $1,580, and $1,260 is our profits for the past five days. So you can tell we kind of cranked stuff out pretty quickly doing this full time. So we obviously do this just about every single week. Some weeks are higher, some weeks are lower. Just depends, it fluctuates obviously, depending on weather, depending on what time of the year it is. So do your research on the city that you're in to make this work for you, because it's very different. The cities you're in, different states. Who knows when it may work for you guys. We started doing this, just tried it, tried it out one day, bought one set and literally flipped it the same day for double what we paid for it. Just kind of kind of came to us and it clicked for us. So I've been doing it ever since and I'm looking forward to growing this even more and diversifying myself and doing other things and doing, you know, pursuing other things and growing myself in other ways. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are down in the description below. Feel free to hit a thumbs up. That really helped my channel grow. Feel free to leave a comments down below if you guys have any questions or concerns or any advice I could get from you guys. With that being said, you guys stay safe, stay strong, push forward, never stop achieving your dreams and goals, always look forward to what comes next, keep pushing forward, never stop, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Peace.